Oh yeah, right. I gotta remember. I gotta hype that. Since Nintendo can terminate accounts just off but Not full up terminate. Just more so bam. Hello chat members. Both YouTube and Twitch alike. Where's the... No. At the... At the update. The Discord message. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Welcome. We're just existing, I guess. I don't know what I have planned for this stream, but it's just, it's just, uh, I don't know. There's only eight people here. You need to spice up the content other than playing Bloom Solo stream. Try playing Splatoon 3. Um, wait, isn't the game dead though? I remember hearing from multiple people that Splatoon 3 is a dead game. Oh no, it's just me though. Hello, Jelly. Actually, there you go. I'll get you that. I wonder if people are still saying that to this day, that Splatoon 3 is a dead game. Spring Fest is happening soon. <laughs> yes, Splatfest, the thing that keeps the game alive assuredly. Nah, for real though, I always forget that Splatfest sort of thing. I didn't expect to have two dead, we get two Springfests, but hey, that's a thing. Did we eat anything? A, a singular rib tip, uh, cabbage and mac and cheese. That's it. I'm team bunny. I do like the other options, it's just I I like bunnies more. Everyone's been making a thousand and one different FNAF jokes about the fest. Perfect background noise while editing, bless you. Get that bag, MD. Me, I've been slouching on the bag. I've been slouching in the back because I have a bunch of money already. Hee hee hee. No, I don't. I'm broke as shit. Do not believe that. Actually, hold on. There. Oh my god, camo leads? What the hell? What the hell? Can I like... Can I like micro this? Alright, I'm some rich up. No! Uh, I suck at the game! Alright, well... I was doing other shit while oh, that was happening anyways. I'm here for the balloons gameplay. Well, you just missed it. I died on the easiest poppable thing in the world because I forgot camel legs. Go back to balloons. We'll go back to balloons. There might be some other stuff. Who knows? Ooh. Chat, please tell me if the audio sounds okay. I am always scared about the audio because I never have the audio properly balanced, like ever. <laughs> it's 
good. What does this title mean? It means what you think it means, I don't know. Hello, newbie. Oh my god, there's so many chat members. On a Tuesday? Chat disclaimer, I'm hella rusty at the game. Please forgive me for extremely mediocre gameplay. I know that, you know, everyone wants to watch the winner's POV, but hear me out. What if I just played the game for fun? No, the charger was right there. Let me cut this up just a little bit. This is Sigma Charger gameplay. Never describe it like that ever again, please. I beg you. I thought I was buying cover, but I guess not. Hey, hear me out. I jump to this guy. I roll that way. I desperately try to find cooler. I pick up a soda. There we go. And then I die to the leader because I suck at the game. It's the one thing about the uh, turning off audio, at least with this version of the uh, Flexion, it doesn't turn off all of the audio tracks. So we still we still have to deal with the lobby music as well as other stuff. But during matches, I can keep the audio like I can have the music off, right? I don't know. Maybe maybe. May just maybe I could like DM Haxi on Twitter just be like hey could you give me like the private version loose <laughs> do not do this for the record she will say no and you know what I may just like there go keep the music on because I don't want to deal with the awkwardness of having to listen to multiple different music tracks overlapping How hard is it to install? Um, it's not hard. You just have to homebrew your Switch, um, unblock all of the Nintendo IPs on your system NAND, which is just, you know, regular stock firmware, but with all the custom shit on it. You know, stock firmware plus custom firmware. And then you just install Flexion um, into your SD card and that's a, that's like literally all you need to do. In short, the process is extremely easy. You just need to homebrew your switch. That's it. A world without Splatoon would be miserable, but the world is already miserable. Splatoon just adds a little bit of fun. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. How long until someone misspells Ritz as Riz? Too late. That's all I have to say about it. Zipcaster so much.
130 seconds is crazy, but hey, you know, you get used to it. I mean, think about it. I could have been playing something like Overwatch and, you know, had to suffer through five minute queue times. Now, see, imagine that for Splatoon 4, where the queue times get so bad, it's like, yeah, you have to deal with five minutes and then suddenly, oh, we couldn't communicate with other switches. Peer to peer. Yeah. I still love how that's an error message in the game. We couldn't communicate with other switches. Okay, so why don't you communicate with more switches? We just can't. <laughs> At least you can do stuff. Yeah. Which is why this game has the best lobby out of both one and two. Because at the very least, you can just, I don't know, like walk around, still practice aiming and such. Instead of just sitting there and just questioning why the game is taking so long. Um, okay. I'll take the chicken kill. Why not? Is, is no one gonna focus on the X-Washer that's literally in the corner? That's their comp? It's so with you. died to that splash. I could have easily killed him, but I died. Oh my goodness. I forget that this is S rank because I forgot to do my rank up battle the previous season. <laughs> so you can just get like matches like that. It's the first time I've seen someone use Sex blow. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I know I could have said kex blow, but hey, the pun was right there. I had to take it. Did I have to take it? No, not really. I I didn't have to say it at all. I'm so good. I'm just. That's my way of just saying thank you. It's not, though. I always have to remind myself that people watch uh, my content and they think, what is it? I get many compliments about the gameplay, saying that I have, like, you know, really good gameplay. And I just look at my gameplay and it's like, man, I suck. <laughs> and there's like no middle ground between, you know, I'll, I'll give myself a bit of credit here and there, right? But usually, usually it's like, whoa, I did something really cool and cracked. And 90% of the time it's like, eh. That's on the sound effect in the video from the guy. Oh, you know, the Ritz and Blitz spotted in Procara video. We just go, hey, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. I'm not really too much of a PvP type of person, but this is just the one PvP game that I just so happen to be good at, and that's the reason why I play it. Or Lyra, yeah. Placenta does carry Splatoon content. I am so sorry I made that joke. I'm not, though. Uh, 
I'm not gonna. No. I got 15 seconds at least. That's something. Wait, five seconds? No! That was my chance. Now I'm slow. I'm not the only one who thinks this map sucks, right? Like, please don't, please don't tell me. <laughs> please don't tell me I'm the only one that thinks this map sucks. It, it doesn't suck, though. That's being melodramatic. I just think this map is like... It, it, it suffered the Splatoon 3 map overhype syndrome, where it's like, Oh, hey, look. Oh, look at this map. Right? This map looks small. Uh, I think this map is like... It's good. It just suffer. It just suffers a lot from just like over reliancy on uh, the lift, and that's what I hate about it the most. Because it, it's just like that really does bog down the map so much. Because you're just fighting on the elevator 24/7. Oh. Well, you saw me parry the <laughs> the first blast, but netcode was like ah ah ah. You can't live that actually. That was a shark man. No. I didn't carry the game. It's alright though. Bluefin is peak and nothing else gets close. It's peak casually. Ranked variations of Bluefin kind of suck. Splat Zones is really cool. I haven't gotten any form of a chance to actually play on it, but it's just, I mean, it's good for, it, it's really cool with the movable zone and all that. But yeah, outside of that though, it's just, to me, it's, it's kind of just there. You get wiped in the beginning of a match. It's hard to come back. This entire game favors lockouts in uh, just so hard. Most of the map design in this game is just if you win mid, you win the game. Like, that's it. Then, of course, you know, how the spawning system works. Since the cannon is so underpowered and where it can send you, it's just, you know, spawn camping is kind of an inevitability, as well as just the very tiny choke points on maps. It's just you either win mid or you don't. And it's like, hey, you know, you get wiped, they get mid, they can just lock you out for the entire game. And, you know, unless there's just a, a clutch from the entire team or like god forbid one person right that's what uh that's what'll let you have a comeback but if you don't get that though then you know, just tough luck and then there's this piece of shit <laughs> that has barely changed at all I'm mad, chat. We're 20 minutes in. I'm already mad. Blitz mauled. And we got the worst song in the game playing. Ugh, I'm so upset. Oh no. The dapples. Yep, y'all got this. Don't worry. Uh, you know Miles in the bag. Oops, I just got a bag. 
That's the sound of a bag. <laughs> Came from the bottom, now I'm at the top. This is the sound of a robot. <laughs> This is the sound of you know mouth. Ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna do that. No, I guess I won't do that because there's a Neo Splash killing all of us right now. Friend, be careful. <laughs> we are all together. Oh, well. That's Splatoon song. I don't know any of them, so it is hard for me to say. I just like Splatoon 1 music, that's all I know. Oh yeah, bro, look at that Neko. <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta love that tick rate. I tried to make it there with the Booyah Bomb to see if I could cap it, but I couldn't. No, never is cool. I don't know which... Wait. I think the first games now are never is still my favorite. That splash was so annoying. What? You mean you never encountered the high-level sweat solo queue splash before? I encountered these things like every, every like three, four games, maybe five. None on a lucky day. Am I the only one on Twitch? No one wants to use Switch. Literally no one. <laughs> That's not a bad thing, fuck Twitch, but no one wants to use Switch. Uh, yeah, no, we'll keep going. You're on Twitch too? Mm hmm. Cross streaming. I'm going back to you. <laughs> oh, man. But think about it. you get the clout for being the only Twitch member. All right. You could say something in the Twitch chat, and no one in the YouTube chat will know. Outside of me. You and whoever else might be into a shot. The ultimate form of griefing and gaslighting. Because I can say, no, a chat member said that. And it's like, no one in YouTube chat said it, but someone in Twitch chat said it. And I don't specify who in chat said it. <laughs> See, you even got a hello Twitch member from Nona on YouTube. Ads are even worse on Twitch. Oh, yeah. It's crazy because you could have three ad blockers on and they, they still play ads. They are dedicated to that, man. Meanwhile, remi reminder that Twitch is owned by a multi-billion... I think, like, uh, just just up and upcoming trillion-dollar equity in the form of Amazon. This shit is crazy. You know, chat, this is one of the pleasures that I love about streaming. 
the fact that we can talk about real shit at the same time, you know, just play video games. Okay. You saw me back up, just in case that Svetlana Sniper was gonna go for a direct. I'm just like, all right, I'm 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 just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away. Talking with streamers is such a great experience, especially streamers that are you know proactive about chat members like it comes at a bit of a fault because there are the thing about streaming is that there has to be a balance between you know the game that you're playing as well as the chat right um and while the streamer has all of the control on either focusing exclusively on the game or exclusively on chat there's still like some instances to where it's like okay you know, people are questioning if you know, I, I'm like still here or I'm still alive. So I have to, I have to actually respond, right? And it's like, yeah, you know, because it, it's streaming. You have to, you have to actually well, pay attention sometimes. Yeah, you have to pay attention sometimes. But the one fault in that is that you're paying attention to chat. And the thing about it is that like, the, you know, this is this is also just a, a psychological um, thing when it comes to people. We focus more on negatives instead of positives. Anyone could say like a negative message in chat and that could dissuade any and all interest from like actually interacting with it. That's the one that's the one fault about a about like streaming sometimes as well as just like you know having chat members that um they chat a lot and it's like somewhat apparent that they want to be noticed and it's like there's nothing inherently wrong with that but it's just when it's over and when it happens over and over and over and over again it starts to get like it, it, it starts to get extremely like you know repetitious right i think that's the word for it Well, I mean, it gets repetitive. That's it. I don't know why I said repetitious. Well, repetitious. When I was an ant. See you later, chat member. Wanted to fight that guy, of course. I couldn't zip up close. <laughs> I, I knew he was somewhere right there, but I was just like, wait, where is he again? Oh. Why did I do that? I am not no like, V charger. Not good. Oh my god. OPG Aerospray? Gold spray specifically? This is a very confusing game. I'm just 
kind of like trying to hit people. No, how did I miss that? I suck. Good thing I have QR. Wow, that was like max range, hello? I'm pushing up more than the <laughs> than the ten attack. Okay. Oh well. The guy behind me was super excited. It's like, yeah, we did it. Yeah. Blood was fighting for his life and wanted to celebrate. All squiffers should be aggressive. Whether they win or lose, it doesn't matter. You get in there. All right, roll when you squid jump. There's an ability called drop roller. And when you hold a direction, you hold in that, you, you roll in that direction after a super jump. It's this little bullshit on my shoes. Look at that. I chose Bunny as my team because I like bunnies more than the other options. reasons why I love Squiffer so much is looking at a shot and being like, oh, that's too far away. And then I actually hit it and I'm like, oh, wow. Goodbye, chat member. Uh, this is a comp. We're backless, which is something. Oh, 
Ah, oh, come on. I literally saw the shot go over my head. You gotta be ki you gotta be kidding me. I was just about to comment on the fact that I haven't gotten a single kill yet. Oh, this way? You don't say. It's almost as if that's the way that we're supposed to go. Definitely a couple of people here. Hello, everyone. Hi, hello. Howdy doody. Hello, random. Blitz stream. Rawr. Rawr. I love watching Blitz play the game. Squiffer is my main. Nothing is my main. I play whatever weapon I want. I'm just going through a Squiffer arc right now. You do that germa bit where he pretends to talk to imaginary chat members saying something outrageous. Somebody just said, show your ass crack on stream. Okay. All right, buddy. Sure. Why not? What if Quick Super Jump had a secondary effect for recall specials where it decreased the amount of time that the recall animation uh, is performed? Like you just have QSJ on and you recall faster backwards. That'd be sick. Never get my aim that good, how'd you? I mean, I just kind of played the game throughout multiple years and got good at it. That and, um, I have an unusual knack for motion controls, so. That is something. Can you twerk like Keo did? I cannot twerk for shit. I'm just all bone. In physical and in performance. I cannot throw that shit back for the life of me. I tried throwing it back like Burleazy once and it just didn't feel the same. Like I got there a little bit, but I just couldn't throw it back as much as I wanted to. Say hello to the dogs for me, no, no. 
tell them I said hello in an extremely monotone fashion. Hello, Mario. <laughs> I'm rich. I mean, that's just, um... <clears throat> that's just me not really spending money on the clothes shops. Or doing gacha roll. Because in truth, I, I I don't care about anything else outside of chunks. And I've gotten to this point in the game to where it's like, alright, if I want chunks, I'll just grind Salmon Run. I don't really care about uh, rolls all that much. Any favorite weapons of mine? Uh, not one. Well, I guess there is one. It's Stamper. But I wouldn't want to just leave out a couple of my other favorites because in terms of evaluating my favorite thing i like to make a list instead of just specifying one specific thing so it's it's stamper range blaster squiffer um what else is there s blast is pretty cool i like dynamo uh for a time i I liked Splash since Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, but over time I kind of just fell off on it. I didn't really have as much fun as I used to. I was so close to hitting that guy. What was he aiming at? <laughs> what was that clash aiming at? This shit was crazy. Horribly missed time. Oh my god, bro. No. I meant to jump. OBS, why would you portray me like this? I mean, it's my own fault. I don't have another monitor. I could get another monitor at some point. But then again, I also don't have desk for it. I don't have a de I don't have a desk for it. Um, I don't have desk space for it. What's my salmon run rank? Um, I have every executive VP checkpoint except for bone rattle, which suffice to say, um, it's just EV. It's EVP four hundred. I completely blinded that shot. I will not sit here and tell you that I hit that. I I'm not going to pretend that, oh, I hit that. I'm good at the game. No, I just straight up veered right and I hit that person. Checkpoint. Yeah, if you get um, if you get the gold badge or not just gold badges, if you get stage bag badges in a salmon run, you get checkpoints on executive VP. And in order to get the gold uh, badge, right, which is the EVP 400 checkpoint, you have to reach max hazard on a stage. I unintentionally killed my friend with my lasers. That's unfortunate.
No. <laughs> I was right in front of that guy's face. Oh my god, dude, why, why is it taking like the Clash Blaster so long to kill one person? I mean, I know it's like, I know it's like, it's Clash Blaster, right? That's kind of the whole thing, but man, that shit is crazy. The, the tick rate is like on crack today. Could have killed the rainmaker. Oh my god, the shot is still alive somehow. <laughs> I even tapped it once. Oh, this map sucks so much. I was, about, I was about to say, they they lose this, right? Like, I'm not going to choke this shot, and they're going to get, like, free time, right? There's a train outside. Hello, train. Thank you for being here. You've never seen a full melanin team, let's fucking go. Oh my god. God damn it. Oh, I couldn't stomach the thought of not having a full melanin team. Oh. Black, it's beautiful. <laughs> you have any favorite? <laughs> Do you have any favorite weapons for the current season? Yeah, custom expo is my favorite. <laughs> okay. Time to take my coat off. Man, it's 81 out there. Bro. God, I hate, I hate global warming and what it's done to spring and summer. You have days in the 80s and 90s and possibly 100s, and then you'll just have 60, 50 days. Did we, did everyone just not see the wiper that I was trying to kill? <laughs> no, come on, gang. Well. I 
That's just an unfortunate autobahn. Got my revenge go. Ooh, I actually hit that guy. No, I hit the... Nice. Yeah. Woo. Y'all, look, I, I did it. I, I, I carried a game, I guess. Oh, man. I just love you talk too much. I do. That shit is crazy. Wow. I can't believe it. Oh, we're doing the things. We're doing it big. We're doing it wild. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Wow. Why is the Rainmaker called the Rainmaker? Because it makes it rain on the most. Worst joke ever. Six months? Pokemon fan? We have Pokemon fans? Sea Jet? Blob? I am too low. At least I got the bug. There we go. I'm a Pokemon fan too. Oh my god! Chat, what's your favorite Pokemon? Oh no, I thought <laughs> I thought I let go of the controller. No. I squid for I squid formed. My inputs were too Oh, that carbon. or Decidueye. My favorite Pokemon is Blaziken. I think he's cool as shit. No. Mm. 
We could have guessed. Yeah, I like fire types. No, it's just kind of my thing. Ooh. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. Swim up the thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Oh, well. Not Pokemon fan squid bagging me. No, don't do that. That's just mad disrespectful, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, why did I do that? <laughs> that was just funny. Back shots. The back shots are so good, they flooded me. I'm so sorry for saying that. I'm not. <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> Bro. I mean, hey, we are playing a game where you spread fluids all across the ground, so. Always keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, imagine if I actually hit that though. I'm begging you, please. Oh, you're wait, actually, no, you're begging again. Me, I got you. <laughs> Bro, where are they going? Uh, why are they rushing it, man? Oh, they're coming from down there? What the fuck? Can y'all motherfuckers not do that? Yeah, let's go Clash. I'm throwing for content. What is the carbon going to do? No, I didn't jump all the way. Everybody freaking the fuck out right now. I wish I would have lost that game off of what I said. But then again, I feel like winning just kind of like <laughs> it just adds that little extra little extra bit of all right, I just just let 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 him do his thing. Is our first time in a stream? Oh, well, that's a great impression. Hi, I'm Blitz. I like to talk about real shit while, you know, playing in a very mediocre fashion when it comes to this game in particular, because I suck at PvP. I'm sick. Someone stop this, man, please.
get the mummy out of um you can play back the stream since you're on youtube you can just play back the stream i don't know where you said it when in doubt mash the arrow keys or if you're on mobile just double tap you know the respective side of the screen but yeah no i said back shots are so good to work oh, i'm not gonna say it <laughs> that's all you get it just says end of demo right there Why'd you repeat it? Because the chat member wanted to know what I said, and I wanted to be nice. What is happening in this game, man? You have to pay for the rest of the phrase. Yeah, don't you know? Don't you know? We live in a world where EA bought out Splatoon and all the creators. God damn, man. Nastiest fucking T-bones of my life. Perlina was always canon. I, I, is is there really someone in chat trying to argue that it wasn't canon? Because I'd beat they ass right now. But yeah, I see the chat message. <laughs> yeah, no, Perlina is... Perlina is and was absolutely canon. shipped it but some people said it wasn't canon they're homophobic that's it <laughs> i mean that's the bottom line they're just homophobic i'm smart i am a hundred percent a dumbass but i'll take it <laughs> Thank you, chat member, for calling me smart. Why oh, you shoot down my compliment? Uh, one thing you should know about me is that I shoot down compliments. I stay humbling myself. I am my, I am my biggest hater. The first person that will hate on me is me. Has the Minecraft Strider always been there or you're going crazy? It's always been there. That's Bubby. If y'all don't know the lore about Bubby, is that... Let me tell you something real quick. Here's a lore. Bubby is a Strider that helped me collect my shit not once not twice not three times but four times against a modded minecraft boss she's elite and i had to place her there i heard you say <laughs> homophobic yeah. Cause I mean, bro, like, there are some people out there that would look at a, 
a obvious clear as day LGBTQ ship and just be like, nah, they're just friends or, oh, you're just blowing it out of proportion. And then they'll just be like, oh, the, 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 nigga, they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? There's nothing else to it. The motherfucker's gay. It's all right. You could, it, it's all right to have a gay ship in a piece of media, man. Why am I popping off this game? I'm gonna lose. Yeah, we're losing so hard. We're losing this game so hard. Oh, we're absolutely losing this game, bro. That shot was fucking insane. Is that, is that loud for the people in the back? Hold on. Nigga! They're gay! God, man, of course I had to get directed by the Rainmaker. I just realized our comp. What is our comp right now? Ah, oh, damn. I got a tap shot of that guy. Come on. Yeah, get him. Get him, yeah. <laughs> Octa cries for the dialogue then. Octa is super ace. She just wants to shit the stop. Oh, well. That was a good direct. Visually, it wasn't a direct on my screen, but hey. It was on their screen. Because the tick rate is omnipresent. Nice. Hey, by the way. Oh, did I say she by accident? My boat. I was expecting to die to the brush because of the whales being there, but I guess they just backed up. Am I cancelled? I mean, there are two types of cancelling. There's good cancelling and then there's bad cancelling. I think in the perspective that it was an accident, that's the bad type of cancelling. Now, if you're deliberately trying to push the agenda that, oh, you know, Oct is a she and this and the third, then, you know, that's the good type of cancel. Cause like, all right, come on. You're just, you're just pushing that like non LGBTQ like push because of personal perspective. And that shit is no good. No, I keep missing. Canceling in a fighting game. No. Uh, oh my god, man. I hate. I hate Rainmaker. Uh. See, I sold the game because of that. And I hate Zuka. Everyone's staggering so hard. Oh 
Oh my god, get out. No. No. We had it too. The day Blitz gets cancelled is the day I quit art. Man. That shit is so fucking insane. Hey, I just say one thing. If I ever get cancelled, chat, never defend me. Absolutely not. I do not care how much of an attachment you have to me. Leave me in the dirt. Do not try to... No, no, but, but you gotta understand. No, if I did bad shit, hold me accountable. Do not follow me. Let me rot. Leave me in the dust. Please. What is happening? Creators getting canceled. Will I even apologize for my actions? I mean, yeah, depending on the severity of them. If I said some shit, like if I said some bad shit on some ra <laughs> something random, like on like Google Plus or something, wh who the f uh, why the fuck am I apologizing for some shit that I said like six years ago <laughs> when I was like 14, 15? But yeah, if I if I said something bad, like of course I'm gonna apologize. Like at least now. Google Plus. That's how y'all know I'm fucked up. I was using Google Plus as a teenager? Wallahi. Google Plus, I miss it. I don't. But hey, it was it it was an attempt. That's all I'll say. I, I just think that, like, the concept of Google Plus is just, it was kind of weird to begin with. Even as a teenager, I'm just like, wow, you y'all y'all are trying to integrate social media within things like YouTube and shit. That's, I, I don't, eh. Reddit kids, bro. Hell no. I'm glad I'm not a Reddit kid. I'd be pedantic as hell if I was a Reddit kid. Like, you just see me nerd out about Warhammer 40k, like, 24-7. Well, I distracted, at least. Where all the old tired men go and complain about their wives. Yep. Hey, am I in the bad? I, uh, I, I took, I took my, uh, uh, what is it? I, I, um, I have a daughter, right? That's transitioning into a man, parentheses, ill. I, I, I took away her HRT pills. I, am, am I the bad guy in this situation? That's right in a nutshell. <laughs> I just did bad chat. Everyone's in all caps. <laughs> just what? <laughs> you cannot escape from me. You see an arrow spray RG in a rank tower control match. What do you do? Home button XA. That's what I do. No. We're having a good time on the stream, right, Chop? We're having a nice, lovely, fun old time. Having a gay old time.
Man, everyone is staggering so hard this game. Yeah, we are not we are not winning this. See you later, chat member. Oh damn, well. I actually wanted to zip past the person, but um, I just ended up landing on top of the thing. Okay, well. How did I live for that long? <laughs> Bro, this is not the match for me right now. I'm heading into early. My brain's all scrambled. <laughs> I'm too busy laughing about the shit that was said earlier. hit the Rainmaker shield. Everything is happening so fast. Yeah, we have, <laughs> we're facing off against an actual, like, good team of just shooters in a bucket. That, and of course, everyone has splat bombs. Oh, I didn't even realize. This is my favorite comp to fight. Don't y'all love quad splat bomb? That's my favorite, actually. I love splat bombs so much. You know what, lethal bombs as a whole, they're, they're just so cool. You know, I love, I love lethal bombs. Mmm. It's so fun to fight. Mm-hmm. Yup. I love lethal bombs. What if it was suction, bro? You're in the right place. Yeah, bro. I told you, we talk about real shit on this stream. We're woke as fuck here. Ah, them woke liberals. I wonder if there are still some Republicans, some right-wingers out there that still unironically say that phrase. Woke liberals. Burst bomb, but it's a challenge mode, so it does no damage and instead has massive knockback. I actually love for that to be a thing. I am surprised that we st haven't gotten a knockback sub. It seemed like a perfect. That seemed like a a perfect type of uh, thing to add in Splatoon, especially considering the fact that most maps have. Edges that will make you careen off to the side. I don't know, man. I just want some other new shit instead of just like, oh, here, yeah, look, I'm playing the game. <laughs> look at this. I'm playing the game. I'm playing the game, guys. I'm swimming up and I'm pressing R. <laughs> I'm playing optimally. <laughs> Look, lesbianism. There it is. Oh, there's a dynamo. Oh, we have double cooler.
do bro am i tripping or did the kill marker just completely block that person just completely block that person's entire body so i couldn't see them couldn't do the cool thing and I died to a random torpedo okay well I just completely whipped up oh friends Nice. Oh, well. I wanted to get that guy. But someone was right in front of me. Alright, no more games. Alright, we're playing a video game. <laughs> Kills is funny. No, uh, Zip, you idiot. Thank you. Sometimes I just be wishing I could just zip now. Two sodas. Oh, well, we're pushing them back, which is nice. Ah, oh, damn. I turned my camera around. I meant to roll in the other direction. Or at least a direction that's not straight, like, back. Like a fucking mom. What the fuck? You were there the entire time? Oh my goodness. I'm lurking. I'm stalking. Oh well. We had a chance to win that, but... Unfortunate.
a team consisted of two Caucasians, a Latino, and a Dominican. Should be him saying lesbianism. Me being lesbianism, it should just be the me doing the um the am I in the wrong Reddit poster guy, just completely out of context. Think about it: a failed attempt at trying to cancel someone equals free PR for the channel. You know my dead ass channel that I'm ignoring because I'm too busy binge watching anime on my bucket list. Man, it's already been an hour and 49 minutes. That shit is crazy. Oh my goodness, man. That shit is so fucking crazy. It is so insane. So crazy. Oh man. Oh, it's, it's so, it's so crazy. Does this even, does this, does this fit still? No, it's a, it's, it's like a little bit, it's like a little bit, a little bit like, a little bit like, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, I got this. I got this. It's scuffed as hell, but there we go. All right, we got this. All right, chat. Ask me any questions that you want. We're re we're relaxing for a little bit. I was about to say, did my did my fucking like my thing just just gone to sleep mode oh no man you know what hold on i gotta restart i gotta get benji out as early as possible man that's that's always the play favorite episodes of the dragon ball watch through um outside of the obvious like climactic moments uh goku versus king piccolo for the first time um, Goku winning 23rd World Tournament, him versus Tien, um, the Krillin fight, this, that, and the third. Uh, I'd say some of my favorite episodes is, I like the final episode where Goku goes into the, uh, the furnace. That was really, really cool. I like the reunion episode where everyone, uh, fails to realize that it's Goku. And, you know, Goku reveals himself. Um, I'm trying to remember some of the filler that I watched. Uh, I was expecting more of more training with Popo, but it kind of just like ended abruptly. Um, and to be honest, it just kind of it, it just kind of was like the same thing where it's just Goku not getting it and he just kind of doesn't get it for the entire episode and he just gets lucky. Um, but outside of that, let me think. Uh, I liked I liked Muscle Tower. Muscle Tower was uh, great, mainly because of Aider. I still need to watch the Path to Power movie. Um, so... Let me think, let me think. Favorite episode specifically. I mean, that's pretty much just it. Um, I just really like most of the climactic moments. I like, I think my favorite, I think my favorite episode might just be Goku versus Krillin. Um, mainly because that, that fight was just so great. That, that fight was just extremely, extremely great. Where I put the bodies in the back of my trunk or my closet. That's if I store a body though. I usually just burn it before anyone figures out. 
Um, I also like cats to answer, um, to answer my last question. OG Dragon Ball fight choreography is so good. No, for real. That's why it was so refreshing to watch OG Dragon Ball because, man, <laughs> man, bro, <laughs> bro, I, I be, I'd be lying if I said that. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that just Dragon Ball Super's like fight choreography. It's ju it's literally just punches and kicks and like that's it. Sometimes sometimes it could be good, sometimes it could be just utter horseshit. <laughs> Which like, you know, it's extremely unfortunate, right? No, let me make sure that this sh shit is still on. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. The thing, like, deloads, right? Hold on, give me a sec. So, pause that. Turn off free cam. Right? Put this over here. This shit can be, like, so fast sometimes. I know I can adjust the speed. But I'm just too <laughs> I'm too lazy to do it. The song deserves a sour blues. Here we go. Free cam looks like a blessing to have. Oh, it absolutely is. Mainly for video editing. That's why Breaks' his videos are so sick. Sour Breaks. A little spider on my wall. Hello, little spider. Can we be friends, please? We are already friends. Everyone in the stream is my friend. Parasocially, obviously. Not, 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 no. <laughs> I'm famous. Oh, thank you. You have great you have great English friend for someone who's learning. Okay, hold on. Let me go on like the actual YouTube chat. I have no idea what that is. It's just B A S B A two blocks and then S. Mayhaps could you type that out in like actual words chat member <laughs> let me hold a dollar for no particular reason you know what here since i'm since i'm so famous and best friends with everyone let me let me pull something out of my out of my bag real quick Oh, 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 that, that just, that just slipped out. That just dropped. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, damn. Oh, let me... Look at that. <laughs> I am Mr. Beast. I'm Mr. Beast. If I had autism and I played a game that I hate a lot. Oh wait. <laughs> the sniff? Yeah, you know what? You, you do, gotta love the smell of money, man. Man, I really wish that Splatoon had like a volume slider because this shit makes no fucking sense. I just want to listen to music, bro. I just want to listen to music, listen to background, put on a playlist or something. But no, I, I no. Nintendo is like, hey, we orchestrated this music. You will listen to it. Do another. If I'll do another, I get a nosebleed. Actually, I haven't had a nosebleed in like several years. 
Hold on, let me just, let me just, uh, let me flex on him real quick. Let me just. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, smell of money. Hello, I like money. What if Nintendo added a volume slider slash actual options in their video games chat? Do you think that that would be successful for Nintendo as a company? Actually, hold on. Let me just like advance until I'll do that. Yeah. What's my opinions on balls? Um. Let me think. Balls. I like, um... I like some of those, like, squishy balls that has, like, the, the like, the frills or, like, quills on them that you get at, like, um... Like a carnival or, um... What is it called? Like a... Like a, um... A... I forget what it's called. It's, like, something that schools do with the library where they sell books and, like, other toys and such. The spiky ones, yeah. The ones with glitter glue, yeah, exactly. Arcade too, yeah. Reason there's no music volume slider is because the devs didn't want people to turn the music off and have an unfair sound advantage on everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. What's crazy is that I have played Splatoon like without the music on and to be honest it, it like it gives like a slight advantage like sometimes like you know you're you'll be able to hear the direction of of something way better but in truth it's it doesn't it doesn't help out as much as nintendo probably thinks it does it, it really doesn't because there's also just a shit ton of sound effects in the game period Welcome back Joey There's a boss event going on. I can't do bosses bro. I need a guide. I don't remember how to do that shit And this is just reverse all right, we'll do this real quick. So much going on, you're afraid of a toggleable sound advantage. That's exactly what I'm saying. This game is like sensory overload the video game. It's just like, oh, unfair sound advantage. And then you get tagged or clipped by a splatter color screen. And now suddenly your ears are getting nuked. Like, thanks. Yeah, that's... You know, that's definitely, that's definitely something to worry about. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. Yeah, there we go. I'm using the monkey sub because I need XP for the Paragon. I don't have it. Love the sound effects in Splatoon. Yeah, Splatoon has great uh, sound design. And we could appreciate it more if we could turn the fucking music off. Well, who am I to say that? Also, because of how clearly I said fuck, the whole stream is demonetized. This entire stream is just now demonetized. Oh no. Hey, it's all good. Most of most of the uh revenue that this channel gets is just off of a uh, it's just off of a uh, what is it? Off of the videos anyway, so.
Chat, what's your favorite writ template quote? I like the part where he said, um, don't make the, don't make the Morbin time joke. I will time you out. I like the part where he said that he loved Latinos. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I am the hoer. That's a good one. That was just a bit that I went with the flow with. I did not expect that bit to just go as far as it did, but it, it, it just did. I good strong. I always forget that strong is... What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess I, I took the other way. Oh. And Cholo Mori's soundtrack, it goes so hard. That is true. I let the Sonic music play for a little bit, though. Uh, no, I, I, I still want to. I still want to. Uh, still want to get XP for this. There we go. Ritz cult bit in the Pokemon Splatfest. That's true. Hope they don't kill Stamper in the next patch. Every single weapon is getting gutted except for Shot or Trizuka. I'd be surprised if they actually nerfed Trizuka. Like, I, I genuinely would. Because it's like, wow, this, this thing has been a problem for like multiple months slash the launch of the game and they're just now fixing it at the end of the game's lifespan. <laughs> the duality of man with Big Swig, yeah. Wait, actually, you know what? Stop doing that, you idiot. I'm taking all the pops away from, uh... Should be good. Yeah. Swigged air horn. That's also a great bit. I think uh, one of my favorite bits that I did. Right. This was an edited bit. I I, I mentioned this um, a long time ago, but I like the uh, the Sonic Heroes score tally at the end of the 52 gal video I did. That's still like one of my personal favorites because I, I just think I nailed the, the flow of that edit a lot. Another one fit in here. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. That pun. Ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. Ahaha. 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 Thought the store tally, score tally was going to be a mainstay. I just felt like doing it. One thing you should know about me is that usually whenever I feel like doing an edited bit, it's like it, it's like a, 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 a 20, 80 chance for it to be a mainstay or not. It's like if it's like a fully edited bit, right? If if it's not just sound effects, then uh, what is it? Of course, it could say it's it's just sound effects. I like putting in sound effects. But if it's um if it's like an actual edited bit that I did, then yeah, there's like a there's like a random chance as to whether or not I'll actually you know do it. <laughs> The Clash Royale. <laughs> Chaz, is there a way to like keep your switch just on, like just to prevent like sleep mode and such? 
I wonder if there's a way. I, ne I never actually looked into the Switch settings for the... The hidden hair reveal, yeah. For you newer chat members, I have long ass hair and I care about hair in video games. I've said it once, I've said it many, I will say it many times again. I fucking hate how devs will look at hairstyles for people of color and they'll just be like, you know, we'll give you this one thing maybe and then just give like a thousand and one different variations of a mullet <laughs> or a bowl cut. Killmonger. You know, I should, bl should I blacklist the word Killmonger? <laughs> it's, see, what's crazy is that it's not, it's not even Killmonger's fault. It's just, it's just people like they see the hairstyle. They're like, oh, oh, black people like this hairstyle a lot. We should just put that as our black person hairstyle in the game. It's always afros, cornrows and the monger. See, it, it's not it's not just a lock taper fade. It, there's a secret fourth option. It's the most crustiest, dirtiest ass locks you have ever seen. Prime example, look at GTA 5. <laughs> look at GTA 5. Look at, um... God, there was, like, another game. There was, like, another game that had, like, completely, like... Like, off... Like, awful-looking locks. Plus bad lines, yup. White People's 9-11 was also a great bit. That's that's a bit that I... I, I say a lot. When it comes to my friends... Right? My friend groups. Just, man. It, it's like, it, that's so... F it, it, every time to me, I just can't help but just chuckle whenever I think about it. Because <laughs> it's just... It's so... F it's so funny. If you just truthfully think about it. Red Dead Redemption? There's no way... Oh, no. Oh, did, Oh, no. <laughs> Well, hey, it's fitting for the times that uh, they would make some hideous ass black people hairstyles for a game, you know, about that era of time. Oh, yeah, chat, you want to know something I learned the other day? Yeah, Red Dead Redemption does have hairstyles. I guess not. I got trolled. You want to know something I learned the other day? Apparently, Cowboy was... A term it, it was a term to um what is it uh it, it was a derogatory term for african cowboys i i forget like the original term for cowboy it was like was it like cow rancher or something it wasn't cow rancher no it was it was something it it, it was like cow s i remember the i remember the thing Cow hands, yeah, that's it. Cow hands. I miss, <laughs> I misremembered the S. I don't know where the S came from, but yeah, originally cowboys were called cow hands, and cowboy was a term used for, you know, specifically for African um, cow hands. So cowboys became the term, and eventually just it just assimilated as a whole into cowboy. <laughs> Cowboy is a slur. YouTube reaction uh, thumbnail face. Dude, that shit is insane. Because it's just like, man, we can't have shit, bro. <laughs> so, <Like>, what? <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's just like, oh, you know, you have cow hands, which cow hands sounds, you know, of course, obviously. Since we're so used to the term cowboy, cow hands just sounds 
wrong. It sounds like something that doesn't exist. But apparently it did exist. And cowboys were just a term used derogatorily to African-American cowboys. Cows have hands? Yeah, cows have hands. They take, they take their hooves off. You know, they're, they're like little gloves. It's like the deer from Adventure Time. Think about a moose that walks up to you. It just takes the takes the hooves off. <laughs> Your chances of living went from none to just beyond none. Super none, ultra none. What would you do if a wall was knocked on your door? I would ask, what would you want? And if it doesn't respond, I'm closing the door. Oh wait, I forgot my usual routine. Is that a swig? Oh, Swig spotted! Swig! I missed! That's a lot of run speed. I don't know what that person's doing, but this is S rank, so... I was gonna break it, but I guess not. See you later, chat member. Good old rules of three. Miss both shots and then hit the third one. swam into it get it yeah that guy's name was discord i think am i tripping i don't know if i'm tripping or not oh well i got got a triple look at that The splat bomb. His name was Discord. Look at that. If you trip on the millions, I got bills to pay. Sometimes I'm just in the mood to just read random chat messages. Like I could not. I like. I don't know the context of uh, the conversation at all. It's just I. I just read the chat message. <laughs> it's okay, but it's just something. <laughs> like, it's just something that I'm, like, I feel bad about. I'm sorry, guys. 
I don't know the topic of the conversation, so I'm just reading out random chat messages. <laughs> Someone else got dropped over. Not that person. Was that a quad? I don't even know if that was like a full quad or not. The soda. The vac. When the vac actually protects the teammate. I hate it when two people show up now. Because it's just like, I have my sights on you, and then I see the other person show up, and I'm like, wait, no, I have to get that guy and then I I double guess constantly yeah the one tap let's go I hate typing. You know, it's funny because I, I scroll past a tweet. Um, it was a person slowly typing, like, how fast do you guys type? And it was like a quote retweet that was just like, oh, hell no. Nah. This is why typing classes need to be a thing. Typical tactical or weapon, Katie. Saw a quote of that that was an entire hour long. Oh my god. I type wrong and I work with computers for a living. Hey, that's a move. I speak English as my first and only language, and I still suck at pronouncing things, right? I still suck at speaking as well because my brain is just it doesn't keep up sometimes it thinks too quickly on the words that I want to say and then my mouth doesn't actually say them or says them incorrectly pronouncing things in quirical bananas what am I wrong Who? It's uh, Chaz Smith from Vine. That guy. Drop the drugs! It's okay, nigga! I got that weed card! Shit! Mmm. You don't know the game, huh? Go. <laughs> weed or crack? I don't know about you, but I I, I take weed. <laughs> if I said crack, then I'd be doubled. <laughs> I'd be doubled down on the watch list because I'm I'm already on a watch list. But if I say crack, oh yeah, buddy, I'm on that watch list twice. Or alcohol? I hate, I hate alcohol. <laughs> I'd rather eat an edible than deal with any of that stuff. Oh, I missed. Oh. Typical Squiffer greeting. Oh my god, bro. The back shots were fucking insane. <laughs> Nicotine versus Saza versus beer.
Give me a moment. That could have been cool. What the fuck? No. Oh. What is happening? I feel like the only person that's actually doing something. We're not gonna comment on the back shots. I mean, hey. If anyone has watched Sour Breaks, you don't question the back shots, you don't question the upskirts, you don't question the T-bones, you don't question any of that. You just experience it. I shot that guy in his fucking foot, bro. <laughs> no. Friend, I'm sorry. I was not safe to jump to. I could be dead. I was about to say, that guy is out of me. No. That was a mistake. Oh, that guy's a smurf, look at that. <laughs> Don't question, just experience them. <laughs> now that's an out of context clip if I've ever seen one. White out versus green out versus black out. Oh my goodness. I'm team green out all the way. Because who would want to black out? That's extremely painful and headache inducing. And for team white out, who would want to be white? <laughs> Just that's the entire reason. Who would want to be white? <laughs> I hit that? What? How'd I hit that? No, bro. I got hacked. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Oh my god. That could have been insane. Oh damn, I fucking parried that shit. Oh what? Oh. I wanted to hoe the Rainmaker. Bro, what is happening in this game? I have no idea. That's that's a massive W. Nice. You what? Hello, sea snake. I saw. I, I read your messages on Twitch, and now here you are in the YouTube chat. I'm surprised no one's comment on this, but y'all like the Marceline shirt. this out look it's Marceline it's Marcy's pajamas 
or well PB's pajamas specifically. I'm so black. <laughs> it's alright. It's hard it, like it's hard to notice. But yeah. I saw the uh I saw the texture reswap the other day and I'm like, oh you know what? That's super cute. I wanna can't see the Twitch channel. Oh damn. It's it, it had a um, had a network connection. I just saw the uh the thing. And well the bot the bot on Twitch is destroyed, I guess. But <laughs> for a one viewer, yeah. You had a you had a friend Twitch chat member and the friend immediately switched to YouTube. I still don't I, I still don't know like that whole whether or not that whole thing is true or not when it comes to the latency on well no yeah no the latency on Twitch is better than the latency on YouTube. I was just about to say like oh I don't know if that's true or not, but no it's it's definitely true. Oh my god, that would have been fucking insane. P bones. Oh my god. Facials. I suck at aiming. I died to a bomb. <laughs> T-Tech gameplay. through the bubble, yeah. Force him out. Yeah. No. I didn't have enough time. I died to a chump. I forget that I had drop roller. Big man does need love and reassurance. Dying to chomp the most embarrassing thing in the game. I mean, you know, they did buff it to where um, it can actually hit like burst bomb damage on. So, I mean that, and it's like it takes so long for it to detonate to where it's like, yeah, of course it's, you know, of course it's embarrassing because you don't actually expect to die to it at all at any point. Okay, they still have to get checked, so we can we can defend off of this. We just need to not die. That's why I hate Barnacle and Dime. I, I hate the I hate the fuck corner.
Give me the quad. Yeah, I'll count that. I wiped the team myself. That's a quad, chat. I didn't get a quad feed, but that's still a quad. I, for some reason, I thought I was getting shot up. just have so much paint on the ground. It's hard to move. Very hard to move. Everyone in chat is being dyslexic. Not knowing how to spell properly. It happens, Chuck. Don't worry. Oh. Yeah, I'm dead. No. They're going to get lead. Oh, never mind. Live versus laugh versus love. I think Shiver would be on laugh and Fry would be on live. Love loses two times. Mm hmm. Notice how Love won every. Love won uh, in both <laughs> the first game and the second game, but the third game is where money wins. Shit is crazy. We had a chance to have, you know. We had a chance to have Love win three times in a row, but instead we had Pride Month capitalization. We here at the corporation represent you. So come on down and we will underpay you just as much as we underpay anyone else. I'm 100% on team jobless. I don't have a job. I just sit my ass in this apartment all day rotting. <laughs> Trying to remember my anime bucket list. What do I got? I got Cowboy Bebop. I got Girl in the Gone. I watched Trigun and OG Dragon Ball. I'm caught up on JJK, like all of JJK so far. Gigi trying to not suck off Sukuna in the next chapter challenge, impossible. Oh, Blah Blobber, my favorite. One Piece? I'm sorry. When it comes to One Piece, I, I feel like... I, I feel like the ship has sailed so far. No pun intended. But the ship for me and One Piece has sailed so far off. I, I just... I'm just not interested in, in One Piece. Dungeon Meshi? Yeah, that is uh, on my bucket list. It's just as soon as I heard that Studio Trigger animated it, I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely a watch. 
Oh. Now, was that worth it to kill the paintbrush? No, but it looked cool, so. Nice. You can do something about that blob. Dude, I, I hate blob so much. I like like blob is the one weapon in the game now that just pisses me off every time. <laughs> every every time I just see it, I see any bubbles, I'm like I'm, I'm like no, no. I this this is gonna be an annoying game. I know it. Okay, sure. Oh, I'm hella dead. Never mind, no I'm not. <laughs> nice. No, don't. <laughs> okay, I was about to say no, don't swim back. Just, just camp that thing. Oh, you know what? On the comp, you know, on the subject of like bits that I've done. Chicken is a great bit. Could have been a Colette if I had angled myself properly. We are killing them a lot, but we are just not capitalizing off of the shit at all. Oh, well. Soda. Oh. oh. <laughs> See, look, I still died to the blob because of the bubbles. I love that. Okay. Sure. Sure. There was a disconnect at the end, so we don't actually lose this. Um. All right. Well. We take the, we take those. Rage quit. I have no idea who rage quit. Well, I mean, it, de it depends. Was it? Oh, it's the blob. I don't advocate for harassment, but because it's a blob, I will respectfully say get fucked. <laughs> Oh. 
The blob had to go. The chicken nuggets were done. Come down here and eat dinner right now. Or you're not going to get supper for today or tomorrow. All right, mom. Jeez. <laughs> doing, doing like a, doing like a, a, a young, a young fucking, I don't know, like a Matthew, <laughs> uh, a white son voice for what is obviously someone who is, what is it? Their player was like the darkest skin tone. I play Blob just to piss Blitz off. I would play this fucking timeout and bam, for fun, just to piss you off. Get that ass banned. Oh, it's the Blob. Look at that. Hello, Blob. <laughs> Man, that was quick. <laughs> okay, I respect the fact that it's a femme inkling with the uh the moha. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, kill him! Ooh. I pressed B to jump, but I didn't jump. <laughs> I love sawing like that too. It's all right, guys. Okay. What? Do y'all not like maps with only one checkpoint? Ooh, that's that's a shame. Oh my God, pay cola. I will show up in that Hydra's dreams. I'm doing really good for someone who's just blindly aiming and shooting. You know what, I say that, I don't even know if that's entirely true or not. That dude is super weak, yeah. I suck at ledge peeking. I died to the rain. Because I literally couldn't see the outline because the colors are so bright. No sonic colors. What? What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That snipe is fucked. No, 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 because that snipe was fucked. That snipe was fucked. It was so cursed. Yo, yo, Omega back shots. Holy shit. That was not a back shot. That was a drill. Holy shit. We out here drilling hoes. Let's go. Bro. Oh, my God. We're drilling hoes. Oh my god, man. Shit, it's crazy. What the fuck is happening in this game? <laughs> the 
that was just disrespectful what I just did. I am I'm fuck I'm I'm fucking. I'm just fucking right now. <laughs> I'm just fucking right now. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> There's no way, man. That shit was mean as hell. Go! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Bro had a red carpet and everything. All you need to do is just go. Uh, <laughs> let them breathe, bro. I have momentum. I could not stop. That Dooley's had respawn punisher. That's crazy. I was about I was about to say you will die. <laughs> me me stalling you out, someone will chase after you or I kill you. Either way, you're done. That don't work. There's no way out of this one. You're done. See you later, Jelly. See you later, Witch Basket. What game was that? Oh, I, I, I'm not finished with the series. Rotation's changed anyway, so. All right, chat. Now we are officially in full chill period because. Oh, tower crab like blue. Ugh. 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 We are officially in full chill period. Any and all questions, subjects, talk about anything y'all got, hit me up. That and of course, let's all do a vibe check. How's everyone feeling about the stream? Everybody think it's good? It's entertaining? Everybody feeling good, everybody feeling bad. Opinions on the periodic table. Why did God do this to our elements? That's like the funniest joke I've told the entire stream. <laughs> Motivated to get back into Splatoon after three weeks. I am sorry for your loss. Oh, I mean, um, <clears throat> oh, good, great, and good for you. Uh, you know, a lot of good things been happening. Worlds, um, in NA winning worlds, you know. Cosmic super person. Do like mid rush maniac as a as a title. I feel like alliteration uh, titles should be more of a thing. I'm surprised that they're not. What I get? Super person. I got super person. That's sis. Scrapper. Here's your super person. Sharp-eyed super person. Seaside super person. How are my vibes? Uh, Splatoon kind of like fries my brain a little bit. Um, after like, after an hour, two hours. So I, t I tend to just kind of like, I tend to kind of like um, just, you know, I tend to kind of like wane a little bit you know, like my soul just kind of shatters a little bit the more i play but outside of that though I, i've been liking the i've been liking the stream i i do like i do like the vibe of streams a lot thoughts on the pros and cons of summer um 
sweating sucks, but at the same time, it is extreme gender euphoria. There's so there's that. Uh, I hate the insects coming back. That's like the one thing I probably hate the most about summer is just gnats, mosquitoes, all that shit. They're all coming back. I failed the exam today at this point. Not sure if I give a fuck. Mm. I gotcha. Well, here's hoping that the grade that you have in that respective class is, you know, like still good, right? But yeah, I just hate, I hate the, um, I hate the bugs introduced in summer more than the actual heat itself. And the heat is like the worst part, especially since, you know, global warming. So that sucks, right? That sucks a lot. Um, but the one thing I do like about it is usually just how everything is available in the summer. You can just pretty much go um, wherever you want throughout the throughout the summer. Imagine living in Texas. Texas is an anomaly. Te Texas, much like Florida, and I, th I'm, I'm, you know, I'll say even like New York. It, it, it's like these are just anomaly states because they they have some shit about them that's just so bizarre and insane for new york it's the people for texas it's the weather for florida it's both <laughs> like cooling down with ice cream yeah that's nice speaking of ice cream that's what i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna eat after the stream Oh, actually, I can eat this during the stream. Just <laughs> apple pie and ice cream ASMR. What flavor? Um, just vanilla. Um, I haven't actually had much of any other flavors of ice cream. I've just had bluebell vanilla ice cream my entire life. I did try, um, uh, shit, I'm drawing a blank. What is it called when vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate are together again? Neapolitan, or, <laughs> wait, Neapolitan. Yeah, it, it's. It, I think it's Neapolitan. Like you, you get rid of um. <laughs> Neo plantation. Oh my goodness, this is the future that the Confederates want. Reminder. How how? Reminder. You could be like. How how long? How long did the Confederacy last? Like seven months. <laughs> I forget. I forget. It's Napoleon. <laughs> Nepo baby. Yeah, Necromancer. That's I've I've had Necromancer ice cream before. That's nice. But yeah, um I've had that. I've had strawberry ice cream. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. Um for a multitude of reasons, but I, I just straight up, like, I'm not as into the flavor of chocolate as other people might be. Um, but yeah, uh, I've had that. I can't remember if I've had cookies and cream ice cream, but I, from what I remember, it is good. I, I just don't, I just don't, um, you know, I, I just don't eat it. Right. It's not off of it's not off of just like, oh, I don't like cookies and cream. I just I just don't eat it. Right. <laughs> like I'm I'm thinking about like vanilla ice cream to where it's just like the thought never occurred to me. Oh, yeah. Right. Cookies and cream is an ice cream flavor. Love the bones and necromancer ice cream. Mm hmm. 
I mean, hey, it's, you know, that extra dairy goes a long way. Just straight raw vitamin C eating bones. But yeah, uh, we'll just think about eating some apple pie and ice cream. I'm trying to think of like something else to mention or talk about. <laughs> when, she, when I found a hair in my cookie, she said extra fiber. Hell no. What the fuck? <laughs> Tom Holland. What the fuck? Man, nobody want to talk to your bitch ass. You know, I love having Gen Z brain. Granted, I have ADHD and it gets to a point to where I feel like I can't focus on anything and it gives me, you know, that, that sort of mental dysphoria. But I still love it. Because I mean, just, you know, you just be silly. You just reference, you just reference something just for the sake of like the joke and that's a, which is ironic because I hate that type of like I hate that type of comedy. Like, hey guys, ah ha ha, the punchline. Laugh. Oh my god, oh my oh my goodness. Uh, team, team bunny, team bunny. Hey, 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 team bunny, right? Team bunny, uh, uh, Bonnie the bunny bon. Chica the chicken. And Foxy the pirate fox. That's unironically one of my favorite memes, too. At least they don't identify as... Freddy Fazbear. I don't even... I don't even know, like, the full copy pasta for that, but... I just remember that specific part. Um, actually, damn, that just reminded me. You want to know some shit that I hate that the Splatoon community does all the time for no reason? I hate that womp womp shit. Can we cut that shit out? <laughs> yeah, just the, yeah, just the, the womp womp. See, like, here's the thing. I understand, like, I understand the joke, right? And it, it is like, you know, it is a uh, womp womp in that damn timer. Yeah, I saw, I saw a funny meme about the the timer. It's like, I I think it, I think it was something like, <laughs> like, instead of instead of like correcting you, a white person would say. Oh, did you know that Wahoo had a timer? It was, it was so, it was so funny. Um, but yeah, just, it, it, it's like, man, bro, can we, it, it's like, we, we, we get, it's like the plank, it's like the plankton gif uh, of just like, all right, I get it. Like, I'm not even in the conversation at all. Like, I, I am not in touch with the, like, the community at all. That and I know, like, that shit comes from, uh, that shit also, like, is partially from TikTok. I think main, I think it's mainly from TikTok, honestly. A lot of shit is from TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. Nor do I plan to be on TikTok. The only reason I'd be on TikTok is off of just a... No, business motivations. Like, if I just randomly turned into a skit channel for no reason, like, of course I'm gonna get TikTok. That's like, you know, it's like prime business. Can we never get jokes from TikTok? Hey, TikTok is the modern day vine, so we will, we will continue to get jokes and memes from TikTok. As well as TikTok continuously, you know, congregating memes as well. Uh... Sure, you know what? 
we'll just do this since we're having a conversation and there's literally nothing going on. I'll probably do this and I'll I'll end the stream. Because I am getting I'm getting hungry. For well, not really I'm not really hungry. It's just I'm craving desserts. I'm craving sweets. Ah oh, man. It is some it is something that I desire. I desire a lot. Yummy sweets. It's crazy because when it comes to sweets, I just be um I, I just be randomly thinking. And it's just like the evening comes and I'm just like Man, I really, I really want something sweet right now. It's just this wild craving that I have. And it's just insanely potent. I'm just like, please, I'm just like, man, please. May, may I please, may I please buy a chunk out of that there apple? There's a bit of lag, hold on. Oh man. I'm going for any special run. Uh nah. Just a just just a bucket run. This time just not focused on a bomb spam, just trying to make the bucket as strong as possible, I guess. But outside of that though, it's you know, it's I, I, I'm just mindlessly playing those. I'm mainly interested in, you know, uh, conversing with chat. Hello, chat. It is I, the streamer. I am validating you and your existence. Gotta stop baking at bedtime. Honestly, baking early in the morning sounds like th that's like how's that's like how's moving castle. You know, I, I forget how to say it, but I say like Studio Ghibli. That's like Studio Ghibli level vibes right there, and that shit is that shit is beautiful. Sounds so beautiful too. Oh my god, notice me, please, streamer. Quick, someone in chat say something out of pocket just so I can read it out and everyone just post question marks in chat. Rosa, you mentioning anime food just reminded me of like, we just had the conversation about, um, you know, like repetitive stuff. <laughs> and and you know the wahoo timer it just reminded me of the the corn tweet like god damn it bro um you're lame as hell dude yeah. he did that himself he had a chance to escape, and he, he just walked straight into danger. Studio Ghibli food looks so delicious, Rent dude. Exactly. I can't think of anything out of pocket, too much pressure. Alright, I'm gonna do the germa bit thing. Somebody in chat said, do it fart. What? Here we go. Mm-mm. 
think attack size. Sure. Big ass bucket. I see I see your love. I see the hearts. What does that mean? Just, just you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> The Omega Demonetized Tree. The stream went from E10 and up to M, <laughs> M for Mature. E10 and up to T for Teen to M for Mature. It's funny because like the M rating is used for Mature games, right? Like Mature games, quote unquote. But <laughs> it's just like it's just like <laughs> what is it mature games in question will just say some bullshit like shit fart piss come all in one sentence this is definitely a mature game for for adults Voice critical ass line. Exactly. I saw a tweet about, uh, like, I saw a tweet of, like, a screenshot of, like, his most recent video that he posted. I don't watch Moist Critical, at least anymore. Um, but I saw a tweet of, like, him uploading a video, and then Asmongold immediately, like, uploaded a reaction of it. It's like you can't make y'all you can't make this shit up. Are you fucking serious? Same thumbnail, just him putting two of his fingers on like his bottom lip. Same same face. It's everything. Okay, a little bit of Ritz and Blitz lore. I fucking hate reaction content. That's it. End sentence. Animal Crossing with true anatomy statue of David. Yep. That just it, that would be like a playground rumor where everyone just be like, yo, in Animal Crossing, Red gives you a statue that has a lady on it that has boobs. There's boobs in Animal Crossing. And everybody be like, what? Critical is better before you gave into the algorithm. Yeah. I will say that. I, I always do appreciate, um, I always do appreciate, like, some form, some form of originality rather than just trying to, you know, just going to what's hot and just, I don't know, but not necessarily talking about drama for, like, the seven thousand time, because man, it gets so old. Kids even go on the playground. Nah, the playground had to be destroyed for a parking lot. Now you might be asking yourself, parking lot? It's 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 a school. Why why is there a parking lot? Well, you see, there's a super center built like right next to the school, and we need to renovate the playground to have more space, right? So, hey, you know, them's the rules. You just gotta, you just gotta deal with it. it. It's just, that's just how it be. Anyways, yes, I like to think that playgrounds still exist. I feel like a lot of people really a, a lot of like um like old conservative like teachers like more than likely um interpret something like oh like the playground is unneeded because like oh like the children of today's they just have their phones and they're disrespectful and all that stuff it's just like 
I don't know if people realize how fundamentally important playgrounds are for children, but I really hope we don't get rid of them. Good reading, chat member. We need this parking lot for a mall that would be mostly deserted in half a year. Exactly. Don't you know? That's a prime, ripe investment. Yeah. Use all these resources to build this one thing that will inevitably die in half a year's time and just ultimately be a massive waste of money. Some schools in your district tried to get rid of recess altogether, like no breaks, just more class time. And that would have made, that would have made, um, that would have made the issue of like, oh, like students aren't, aren't studying more even worse. Like that would have made that exponentially even worse because like, I, 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 dude, you can't, why, why, why must we, my, why must we, for force the children to work constantly right why why must we do that just because it is a late stage capitalist country does not mean we should subjugate children to the lines of constant workflow we we don't we don't need that at all why must we do that why 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 must we do that Anyways, I'm fighting the top. Thank you for the ink mine, bro. Greatly appreciate it. Where is it? Come on. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. All right, fine. I'll destroy one of these bottom layers. I don't have the range to capitalize off of this shit. There we go. I mean, I have the hitbox to capitalize off of it, but not the range. I might constantly want to fight every kid, but give him a chance to have a... <laughs> give him a chance. That's crazy. Sure. Let's go to the vending machine. Did anyone notice that Incineroar has a friend on top of Fue Kyoko? If your suit too bad, it's orange. Splash radius, my beloved. That's what I'm saying. Main piercing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, small ask is there. Incineroar is still small off of the basis that, you know, he's too competitively dominant in doubles in VGC.
So. Splat zones. Yeah. Am I doing a specific run? Nope. I'm just playing this for fun. I had some hella good Squiffer games just out of out of nowhere at all. Um, and now I'm just I'm just spending my time just uh, just doing this. I'm just like, you know what? Sure, why not? No, just do a run. Wish I had like actual range. Kind of tired of a. Uh... Like the flaccid bucket slosh. Verify it to you. YouTube, please. <laughs> I hate that shit so much. <laughs> like, bro, like, bro, I just, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the YouTube, uh, I'm in my channel dashboard. And it's just like, I've done absolutely nothing. It's just, wait, we need to verify that it's you. I get it, Google. You're trying to harvest the telemetry off of my phone just so you can give me advertisements that may appeal to me. We get it. You're selling our data. Please stop it. <laughs> Tell her what now? You know all the cookies that you've been leaving behind on the sites? That you visit? That, my friend, is telemetry. Google takes that data and resells it to the advertisers just so they can appeal to your interest and product. They can provide you with a service that you may be interested in, which you're not gonna be interested in because it's gonna be presented in an annoying pop-up ad. Oh, see you later, Rosa. See you next time on the next stream or in the comment section. What are my final thoughts on Frontiers? Honestly, I thought Frontiers was okay. A lot of people will say that Frontiers was like absolute peak, Final Horizons, like saved Sonic Frontiers and all that. Um, me personally, like Frontiers had problems I love the open zones. I I think the, the game fell off on um, what was it? Chaos Island, the one with the volcano, right? Um, and the final boss in the base game sucked. And then Final Horizons was just kind of. I think my experience with Final Horizons was more confusing than anything. I I just kind of there were, there was just a lot of things that. Um, kind of felt like unintended with some of the puzzles and platforming challenges, especially with Tails, because Tails is just ex extraordinarily broken and busted with his, uh, with his, um, you know, the tornado too, right? But it's, it's that as well as just like the end of Final Horizons also being like extremely controversial to me because i didn't mind like combat trials but the combat trials were just useless for the supersonic fight and the pre-patched uh the, the pre-patched like titan boss rush was just complete and utter horseshit <laughs> especially if you're playing on hard because that that shit is just like why would you introduce perfect parrying into the game when you could have taught perfect parrying like at the very start of the DLC 
or at the very least like you know encourage something like that more in the base game because you can just indefinitely hold parries and now suddenly you have to perfectly time parries you get it it's just it, you know most of the shit you already heard but yeah there's the end fight with supreme i hate how you have to fight the original supreme first and in all honesty i thought that the supreme fight right with the end um i i thought all of that was not that good some people say it was peak the cutscenes were um they were pretty good I hate how like Cyber Supersonic wasn't like a, a a full thing. I still don't even know if that's like like an actual form. <laughs> it's just you know it's like a fan dubbing of a form, right? But it, it's it, it's just um, yeah I, I I don't I didn't I didn't really like uh, I didn't really like the final boss like at all. I I thought it sucked to be fair. But yeah, just all in all, I just thought that Sonic Frontiers was okay. What's our goal for this run? We're just playing Bucket. I completely agree with everything you said. Wow, that's that's a first. Um, but yeah, I, I just kind of like... I, I feel like I would say that Sonic Frontiers is okay with more pride... If it wasn't for the obvious factoid of just everyone was overhyping the shit out of Frontiers. Let's let's be completely honest right now. Everyone is everyone was overhyping the absolute shit out of Sonic Frontiers. It's like I get, you know, like oh big time, you know, big time Sonic game, this, that, and the third, and it's just it, it's just like the game came out and it, it was just okay like it had it had really high highs but it also had extremely low lows and that's what's that that's what makes it so divisive that's what makes it just ultimately okay more than anything oh this is a shits and giggles run by the way look at the hitbox on my bucket as well as the range Look at that. Also, welcome back, Joey. It's hard to not hit the eight ball. He's so ambitious and honest to God, it was cool and all. It's better than the base game now, but it's such an ambitious endeavor that when it hits, it hits and completely misses where it, where it does. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. That's all I have to say, just yup. The eight ball stages in Octo Expansion are not actually that hard. Oh yeah, it's just it's just people are holding on to the um, the memories of doing that shit for the first time and really struggling. Which hey, that's you know that's fair, that's understandable. We all have that one like challenge that we 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 um we struggle to deal with. Like, someone could say, like, oh, Girl Power Station wasn't actually that hard, and I'd just be like, you know what, hey, that's, that's fair, right? It was tough, but, you know, it just wasn't that hard. It's just, hey, you know? And having this much range is crazy. Plus, I technically have, like, way more range because the hitbox is actually just massive.
I like the eight ball stages. I like the eight ball stages too. They're cool. What's my favorite side order song? Uh, I don't know names, but I think I think it may be I think it may be like um, the third variation of one of the challenge songs. Maybe the tower one. I don't know. I have to I have to read this into it. All right. From oh, my range. Oh my god. Yo. Here, eat those. The one that I said it sounds like Paper Mario. Uh, that one's that one's good. I wouldn't say that's one of my favorites. Though. I just I, I just um, I personally like it because it you know it it just straight up does sound like a Paper Mario song. Oh my goodness. Unless you rebound. You big massive dork. You big massive idiot. That was cool. I bounced off of it in midair. Just like, get me the fuck out of here, please. Please, I don't want to be here anymore. Please. I've been in this elevator with these lesbians for too long. I need some space. Can I just please be alone? We did more with Oct. Oct is 100% here for fan service. And in all honesty, I understand doing that from a marketing approach. Because it's just like, you know. And in, tr in truth, it's like, oh, the whole um, having something to customize thing that Splatoon fans like wanted for the longest time. That's like, um, that's something that's, uh, that's been a thing for, like, quite a while, I think, ever since two. Like, oh, we should, well, no, ever since one, I think. Like, oh, we should have our own apartments and customize shit, right? And, you know, like, they're just like, okay, they want something customizable. Yeah, I, I know, let's, let's give them a locker. And it's just like, okay, now we need a shop. For the for the lockers, right? So, what what should we do? I know. Let's take a band member from you know one of the Splatoon bands and just make it into a shopkeep. Or why does it make sense with side order? Well, yeah, it does because you know the members is designed for um, sanitized octarians. But it, it does just straight up feel like she's just here for fan service. Side order is like a demo. Mm-hmm. That's what I've been saying about it for like the longest time, right? 
and why I have this DLC in like an extremely high regard. Because just at the end of the day, this is um, this is a Nintendo team trying the Rogue formula for the very first time, and it's like, you know, of course it's not going to be, um, of course it, it's going to miss some beats. Of course it's not going to have like, like an infinite you know like just like an infinite mode more bosses more enemies all that shit like more modes more upgrades like uh, uh, of course it's not gonna have that it's 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 solely just um it's it's something just solely for um you know j j it's their first time doing it right Side order is the frontiers of the Spl of Splatoon. Yeah, but it was actually ambitious and successful at what it wanted to be. Oh god, cuz okay, no, nah, no. Nah, see, now nah, now I'm pissed. Now I'm pissed cuz I I got <laughs> I got reminded of bullshit. I got reminded of frontiers is bullshit. Oh bro, I I <laughs> I hate <laughs> I hate I hate um I hate some of like the characterization decisions, right? I think, I, I think like, oh my god, damn, bro. I think like some of the dialogue and um, the characterization of Frontiers, it can feel like either a little bit too hammy or just like Ian Flynn just trying a bit too hard. It's especially apparent with um, the Family Guy cutaway level gag sonic writing where he constantly references everything mmm trees this reminds me of green forest you know on prison island the island that blew up mmm Chat member, I just noticed your profile picture is that one picture of Donald, Donald Trump. Like, is that his mugshot? I forget. <laughs> like, I just noticed that. <laughs> like, at, fir at first, I, I just saw glimpses of it. I'm just like, what is that? They had only one game to fix all the pre-existing character issues. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, I would have rather, I would have rather them just like fix the character issues just in a in a more slow burner way instead of just like, I don't know, like the characters just miraculously are just going through character development, right? Because in truth. Let's just say a Sonic fan, a non-Sonic fan is playing Frontiers as their first game, right? So you like you as a Sonic fan would understand like the character arc that the characters are going through, right? And while like the character arc, the character arcs in in it's like in it themselves, right? Is extremely quick and kind of like it, it kind of falls flat sometimes in terms of like the payoff or reward of said character arcs. Like, to a non-Sonic fan, it's just kind of like, why are, like, the characters, like, this, like, slow-paced and methodical and, like, this philosophical, right? Like, as far as, as far as, like, a non-Sonic fan goes, it's just, they, they'll just look at the shit and just be like, I thought Sonic was, like, this, like, egomaniac. Why is he giving, like, philosophical advice? Key and Peel skit about football player names. We know Sonic players play Sonic. Call out to every one of them every time. Exactly. Which is why there's no substance to non-Sonic fans because Sonic will say some bullshit that non-Sonic fans would completely just not get at all. Like who is, like who is Sticks and Tangle? I thought it was just like Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, and Amy.
Oh my goodness. Especially Tango, yeah. I, I hate the fact that um Sega is trying to make everything canon outside of Sonic and the Dark uh Chronicles. Bro, y'all look at a series like 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 Final Fantasy, man. You don't have to have games tie into each other to be successful. You can have different continuities, man. It's okay. It's fine. I can't defend it. It's so fucking lazy. It's to me, it's so lazy. It does nothing but just pad to Sonic fans. Just specifically to, you know, just have fan service and that's it. Like, you mean to tell me, like, how are the IDW comics canon? How is that shit canon? How is Styx canon? Bro, it's like, y'all, come on. Come on now, wake up. I think this applies to Zelda too. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it applies to Zelda too, but at the very least, Zelda presents, like, its games as, um as like you know something of like its own little bubble like you have um what's the what's the three timelines again there's the ruined hero timeline there's the hero of time timeline and then there's some other shit right prime there's no fucking way that they said prime was canon come on no because i no 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 there's no way the floated one? Yeah, you know, Wind Waker, right? Oh my god. What? Oh no. Oh my god, man. What? I hate this shit, man. Bro, that's. That's. Because that's so. That's so stupid. What? Bro, oh, that just made me hate Sonic Prime even more. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Sega sucks at this stuff. Sega sucks at a lot of shit. Hell, Sega as a company sucks a lot of shit. I'm still, I'm still not gonna ignore the fact that. Final Horizons like came out and there was something about like um like a massive um a massive group of uh like developers were just working on a game and Sega just had like a mass um a mass layoff you know as corporations do just to save some money and it, it was just kind of like wow you know you, you do this right as like Final Horizon releases. And it's like, okay, you know, you can argue like, well, like, you, you know, I can't even remember the game in question. What does that have to do with me? It has nothing to do with me, but it has something to do with the thousand, not thousands, like hundreds of people that just randomly lost their job because Sega said, hey, hey, fuck out of here. Zelda is still pretty cohesive without playing the other titles, too. Exactly. Like, you can play Ocarina of Time and, you know, Majora's Mask, and then play a completely different Zelda game and just be like, you know, just like, hey, you know, because, like, the timelines are at least split, right? And that's the thing that I was going to touch on uh, when, it comes to <laughs> when it comes to Zelda, right? But I got sidetracked, like getting pissed off about like sonic prime being canon apparently but yeah just like zelda is cohesive about its multiple stories and how they all tie together it's like while it does while it is like unnecessary it's at the very least like converges into the breath of the wild tears of the kingdom point and it's just kind of like hey now we're just on like you know like potentially one strict timeline or we can just completely make a like an outright separate timeline but um 
yeah, just you don't have to you don't have to play one. You don't have to play Breath of the Wild and then be like, oh, I got to play the I got to play the other like Zelda games that truly understand the story and the narrative. It's, it's like, no, you can play them just for the sake of playing like a traditional Zelda game, right? Um, but that's, you know, that's that that's it, right? You don't you're not forced to you're not forced to like just um, play the games just to understand what the hell is happening. And, you know, you could say like, oh, it's the same thing for like Frontiers. You don't have to play other Sonic games to understand Frontiers. But when the when Sonic himself is bringing mentions to like, you know, like um, all the other shit, right? That's happened to like previous games for some random reason. And like, you know, Amy using like tarot cards and Knuckles talking about his village and then like flashbacks to all these different events in the games and the cutscenes, and it's just like, okay, like, like at that point, a newer Sonic fan is just gonna look at that and be like, oh, I have to play, I have to play some of the older games to actually understand what it's going through. Because like I said, like the characters, the characters in game, like all of them are going through some form of a character arc. And to a non-Sonic fan, no one is going to understand what that character arc is. Like, it's already bad enough that the character arcs themselves are just kind of like, you know, they happen extremely quickly. And to like someone who's traditionally like, like played the series a lot, it may seem like not really like that impactful and just really sudden. And it, it's just it's just kind of it, it's just really bad because like you don't, you know, <laughs> Like, it, like, think about the newer Sonic fans that are just gonna see this shit and just be like, I, uh, am I, am I supposed to like, you know, like look up some other external media for this shit? It's also just, you know, like a problem with like Sega choosing whether or not to accept Sonic's history or not. Because we, we know like, if you're a Sonic fan, you know like the meta era of Sonic, they wanted to completely abandon everything. They wanted to abandon the adventure games and they sure as hell wanted to abandon, you know, something like Sonic 06, right? Because, I mean, that, you know, that game was a failure. And I get it, you know, they don't want to... They don't want to, like... They, they don't want to um, have any connections to the laughing stock that is Sonic 06. But, like, my, my god, like, y'all motherfuckers just... You, you go you go to the extent of just like, you know, abandoning that and then just quickly scrambling to just scrape that all back together and just be like, look, look, it's Sonic history, you know, like post generations like, look, look, Green Hill, Chemical Plant, just just um, um, all that, all that shit. Hey, you remember Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2? Not Sonic was cool and never really understood the new games. Exactly. And that's the problem. Like. Sonic games now are just designed to cater to Sonic fans specifically. And that's the biggest issue involving like Sonic with Sega. It's just Sega is trying too hard to conform to different ver versions of Sonic when in truth, all they just need to do is just have a set vision of what Sonic is and what he should be and just stick with it. Like we, like, bro, um, what is it? Like, I know this is hypocritical to, like, the prime point that I'm making, but you look at something like Sonic and the Black Knight, right? If you are, like, a diehard Sonic fan, right, that have just, just seen any and all forms of Sonic media and played, like, most of, if not all of the games, then you'll agree with me by saying, like, oh, like, Sonic and the Black Knight Sonic is quite literally the best characterization that Sonic has ever had. Like, they do something like that, and then they introduce the meta era where it's just, you know, Baldy McNose hair. It's like they don't, they don't, they don't have like a clear vision on what they want Sonic to be. They just get the audience's reaction to Sonic, and, you know, they just run with that shit. It's already bad enough that Sonic fans themselves are indecisive, 
it's the worst possible thing that the de developers are trying to cater to said indecisive fans. So you just have this big ass like trail trail mix bag that has like thumb thumbtacks, Q-tips and all other gross shit inside of it. And they and then it's just like they just hand it out to people and just they just be like, what's up with that? They want to branch out and constantly do more. They said themselves they don't want to be tied down to one thing. I think it's nice in premise, but yeah, what is it? I I I appreciate that, right? They want they want Sonic to like look and feel different for like every single adventure that he's on and like all of his games and all that stuff. And it's like I can respect that, but you don't have to just completely revitalize the character every single time and every single new game just for the sake of appealing to like a handful of people it's like we're you know shit that's also the reason why sonic fans are so indecisive is because sonic has been so different throughout the many years that he's exists you have the you you know you have the momentum based adventure games and now you have the boost formula you have people arguing about like you know boost formula versus momentum and all that shit and there's like constant wars about it there's certain people that are just like i can't play i can't play adventure games i can't play boost games you know you have people like talking about just the overall aesthetic and characterization of sonic as a whole and it's like because there's so many different versions of sonic it's it's hard to just consistently enjoy Sonic when every time you play as him, he just seems like a completely new and different person. <laughs> like I said, you have every world has its in shonen protagonist Sonic. And then suddenly you have Saturday Saturday morning cartoon, which it's even worse than a Saturday morning cartoon. Baldy McNose hair ass Pizza Hut boy. talking about classic sonic and modern sonic i'm talking about sonic just sonic as a whole but yeah the shit the shit is just crazy the shit is just crazy and it's it's just really tragic that like sonic always has to sonic whenever the subject of sonic comes up it's usually negative and like cynical because it's just like, man, Sonic is such, such a divisive series. And, you know, because of how different Sonic is throughout his multiple incarnations, it, it's just like it leaves people with just either one version of him or like no version of him. Right. Like, hell, you know, you have non Sonic fans. They look at Sonic and they still think he's like the, oh, yeah, chili dogs type and type of dude. Right. Feel that if you're gonna have a character change personalities between games, there should be a core trait that stays with them exactly, right? And Sonic does has that core trait, right? He still is just a hero that, you know, just has a justic, uh, justic, um, justice like involved, um, like impulsive decision, right? To just help people unconditionally. Like, he still has that, but he's just, like, Sonic just suddenly just becomes drastically different throughout, like, multiple different versions. I thought he was the Chili Dog Dude. He was the Chili Dog Dude. You know, the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and, and all other, like, all other forms. Like, Sonic still loves Chili Dogs, right? But, you know, that specific voice of, like, yeah, Chili Dogs, woo, yeah. It's, like, it's a hybrid between, like, you know, the the cool dude attitude that he had in um, Adventure 1, as well as just, um, you know, like, Sad I Am, right? Doesn't need to be entirely likable, but we're kind of static right now. Exactly. What is it? It's just, um, it, it's just like at this point, right? When it comes to how I interpret Sonic, I still like to interpret, you know, the best form of Sonic as 
his characterization and the Black Knight. But, um, what is it? Just Sonic as a whole, as well as just like the other characters. I I just feel I just feel like I I don't know I I just don't know. <laughs> I I just have I have no idea. My Sonic's a freedom advocate, advocate and a hero that lives up to his own ideals. So it used to be characterized, but it changes a lot depending on the media, such as the issue. Exactly. That's why you know. That's also why I say like oh like Black Knight. Uh, Sonic is my favorite Sonic because it's the same thing. Sonic was willing to be labeled the worst of knights as a Kingslayer, and he literally said, "I can't play the good guy all the time." Like he was willing to become the villain to be the hero that he interpreted himself to be, and he was doing the right thing at the end of the day. Like that's my Sonic, right? We'll have bits where we're having a laugh, sure, but he feels like you're in a room and it's awkward and there's the one guy that keeps trying to force a joke and no one is laughing. I love that one video of uh, Eggman building a machine to summon all the alternates of Sonic. And one of the jokes is just Boom Sonic just like appearing. He's like, no, I nearly killed the franchise. And it's just like, hey, no, it opens the door for some hilarious self-deprecating humor. Watch <clears throat> Sonic Boom on the Wii U, and then everyone just starts cheering and laughing. <laughs> it's just like, for fuck's sake, man. I, I don't understand it. Look, I have a nose. Look at my nose. I can't, I can't free cam that. Well, I can free cam that if I have a second controller, but I don't feel like using it. But yeah. All right, all right, chat. I think that's a great stream. I popped the fuck off on that last Squiffer game. Holy shit. That crab tank snipe was unironically one of the hypest things I've ever done. I did that shit by complete accident and there was no hit indicator whatsoever on that shit. Or do you get different ink colors in side order? It depends on how many of a certain chip type that you have. So if you have a lot of range chip types, then your ink color is orange slash, you know, like that peaches, that peachy type of tan. And if you have a secondary amount of um, color palettes, right? Like, like the second highest amount of color palette chips that you have, you get a little accent to the, 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 the things. Better see these games in a video. I'll just lazily trim like some of my best Squiffer games. Put no effort into the video whatsoever. People will eat that shit up. Like, but yeah. Um. All right, chat. I'm gonna eat my dessert and I'm gonna call it a night. I shall see you next time. So everyone, take care. Have a good night depending on your time zone right have a good day good afternoon evening whatever and patch notes are out damn i forgot about that shit um all right y'all y'all have a good night i'll see you next time bye bye By the way, arab.org, don't forget to do your daily clicks. Just one last goodbye.